Our City, Fayetteville, Arkansas, is aiming to reach 40% waste diversion by 2027. This means that the city wants to reduce landfill waste by diverting 40% of that waste to alternate methods of disposal. Food waste alone comprises 18% of Fayetteville's total landfill waste. The food waste that goes into landfills decomposes without oxygen, which creates methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more potent in global warming than carbon dioxide. But food waste can be used to create compost, which grows strong, healthy plants that absorb carbon from the atmosphere. So what exactly is compost? Well, compost is a chemical-free natural fertilizer that contains essential macronutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals, which are extremely healthy for plants. Did you know that Fayetteville has food waste drop-off locations where food waste is collected and then turned into compost back at our facility? Fayetteville citizens can then buy this compost and use it to boost their gardens, their lawns, and potted plants. This is because compost improves the soil's water retention, texture, pH, and overall health. Now let's take a peek behind the scenes to see how we turn food waste into usable and beneficial compost. First, the food waste is collected from all of the food waste drop-off locations and commercial routes, such as restaurants and schools. Then, it is brought to our compost facility where it is placed onto a pre-made mixture of 50% ground yard waste and 50% wood chips. This pre-made mixture not only absorbs any excess liquids, but also provides a foundation of microbes during the decomposition process that helps to break the pile down. This pile is referred to as a compost windrow, which is turned several times with our specialized row turner to ensure that the food waste and pre-made mixture is evenly mixed. Next, we add an inoculant, which is a special blend of bacteria and fungi to the windrow pile. This blend works like yeast when making bread, except instead of yeast feeding on sugar, it's a mixture of bacteria and fungus feeding on food waste. Each tablespoon contains around 2.6 billion microbacteria and fungi that repopulate and constantly move through the windrow pile from the outside in. This constant movement pulls air toward the center of the pile that rises out of the top as steam, creating what is known as the chimney effect. Finally, a six inch cap of mix is added to the entire outside of the pile. This cap works as a biofilter, an odor control technique that also allows the food waste to reach and maintain high temperatures throughout the pile. The pile then sits for 30 days before being turned again. The microbial activity within the windrow pile creates large amounts of heat that reaches up to 160 degrees. We monitor the temperature daily at different depths and locations to ensure the pile stays warm enough to cook out the evil pathogens, leading to a safe product for your plants. A minimum temperature of 131 degrees Fahrenheit is needed to cook out those pathogens. We take samples from these piles and then send them to a lab to be tested for quality. The food waste is decomposed in the first 30 days, but it takes about three months for everything in the windrow pile to be fully decomposed. At the end of the three-month period, the compost is then sifted through our screener to remove any large debris and create a finer compost. Lastly, it goes through a final two-week curing period before it's ready. The compost can now be purchased to grow healthy, more environmentally friendly gardens, yards, and potted plants, all of which absorb more carbon from the atmosphere. 
composting is just one method of reusing our waste and keeping it out of our landfills. If you are interested about other methods or just want to learn more about our food waste drop-off locations, please feel free to ask us. Thank you for watching this video about our food waste composting program. And remember, waste not, use less. to a 